you ever wondered how photographers get so close to wild animals? Well, the secrets through the lens. Let's zoom in to take a closer look at animals like never before. We're in Masai Mara, Kenya. When the sun goes down, it's lights, camera, action. Oh, look, lions. They're on the move, so watch out. Using only the natural light from the moon, a thermal imaging camera captures pictures of animals in the middle of the night. Shh, we need to stay hidden so we don't spook them. The long lens brings us up close to the action while keeping the filmmaker at a safe distance. Phew, that means they won't trample all over my sandwiches. <laughs> all cameras use light to identify an image, but the thermal imaging camera uses temperature too. This camera detects an animal's body heat. Oh, hello, Trunky. Known as infrared radiation, the camera processes infrared radiation and converts it into a visual image, even in the pitch black. Pretty cool, eh? Hello? Where's my herd? I can't be alone out here. So, if you're ever on a night safari, you'll want a thermal imaging camera to capture the world's most amazing animals. Zoom in, focus, and take in the wild world every day. Have you ever wondered how photographers get so close to wild animals? Well, the secrets through the lens. Let's zoom in to take a closer look at animals like never before. We're flying over a field in Washington, Oregon. Look out below, I just had my lunch. <laughs> There's a camera attached to this golden eagle. This eagle has been trained to fly and film. I'm posting my videos on Twitter. <laughs> it can fly as fast as 30 miles per hour and can stoop to speeds of 150 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. So hang on. The eagle has landed. Oh, nice hat. This is a lipstick camera. It's lightweight and easy to mount on an animal. By mounting a lightweight camera to a bird's body, scientists and researchers can study the bird's speed, altitude, and positioning. Eee, look at me! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for flying with us. We know you have a choice of airlines, even if the landings are a bit. <laughs> Bumpy. I can't see anything. Oh, that's better. Whoa. So, if you're looking to capture an eagle's eye view of nature and wildlife, well then, grab a lipstick cam and fly. Zoom in, focus, and take in the wild world every day. wondered how photographers get so close to wild animals? Well, the secrets through the lens. Let's zoom in to take a closer look at animals like never before. We're in the beautiful Fiji Islands, located in the South Pacific Ocean. Oh, that's quite a camera you've got there. Oh, you just dropped it in the water. It's a tropical paradise waiting to be explored. Hey, dude, have you seen a clownfish? Below the clear blue waters is lots to see. I'm off to fish school. Oh, I couldn't go yesterday. I had a cold. <laughs> Today, we're swimming with bull sharks. 
Using a camera that's in a special underwater case, photographers can capture the action up close while protecting their cameras. Filming sharks can be dangerous, but with training and the help of a dive buddy at a safe distance, it can be an amazing experience. I'm ready for my close-up. The ocean's currents can sometimes make photos blurry. But photographers hold their cameras close and steady with both hands. That way, you can see the underwater world in clear view. Some cameras take photos just below the surface, while others can reach the ocean floor. Want to try it? Scuba diving can be hard, so make sure you're properly trained before grabbing a camera. Zoom in, focus, and take in the wild world every day. Have you ever wondered how photographers get so close to wild animals? Well, the secrets through the lens. Let's zoom in to take a closer look at animals like never before. G'day, mates. We're here in Australia. These mighty insects are weaver ants. They're so small, they're almost microscopic. Hey, I heard that in my antenna. <laughs> you need a special camera to capture these ants at work, since they're smaller than the size of a dime. Hey, are you looking at me? It's totally all right if you are. Yeah. We're using a macro lens camera. It magnifies miniature objects like the amazing world of these incredible ants. Has anyone seen Brian's contact lens? No! Weaver ant colonies can sometimes reach up to as many as 500,000 members. With this camera, we're able to see them building their home. These ants produce a glue-like substance that can bind leaves together. Oh, no. Jamila and Aaron have glued their faces together. Using macro lens technology, we're able to capture these teeny tiny species in living colour. You know, I just get the feeling that people are walking all over me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, Jamila, get off! Zoom in, focus, and take in the wild world every day. Oh, no! I'm in the wrong tree! Oh, you're so antsy! Have you ever wondered how photographers get so close to wild animals? Well, the secrets through the lens. Let's zoom in to take a closer look at animals like never before. This is the Pacific Ocean by the southern border of Alaska. A special Cineflex camera is mounted to a helicopter capturing the beautiful images you're seeing here. Hey, that's a really good shot. Pilot humor. This camera can take you to remote places and incredible heights. Some aerial pilots specialize in flying aircraft that film video from the sky. Ah, oh, great. Now they're filming us walking. Humans are strange. This aerial camera can capture a range of angles and views from wide to very narrow. Peanut butter is better than jam! Ah, look at that. Oh, look. This footage helps us understand animals and learn how to better take care of the species on our planet. So, become an aerial photographer, and the sky's the limit.
Zoom in, focus, and take in the wild world every day. Have you ever wondered how photographers get so close to wild animals? Well, the secrets through the lens. Let's zoom in to take a closer look at animals like never before. We're hovering over the Pacific Ocean, filming the snot of a humpback whale. Sounds pretty gross, right? Yeah. Unlike fish who use gills to breathe underwater, whales have blowholes to get air from the surface. The snot bot follows the whale to capture the mucus shot out from its blowhole. This high-tech camera is being used to help save whales' lives. Well, that sounds whaley good. <laughs> it's a custom-built drone that hovers in the air above a surfacing whale to collect its mucus. The Snotbot captures samples, images, and data about the whale's body health, DNA, and behavior, which is used by scientists to help protect the species. This special camera allows us to learn about and care for these endangered creatures in a whole new way. Get that whale a tissue. Or at least a tablecloth. Zoom in, focus, and take in the wild world every day.